Now you going to Penn State, everybody know at the time you were playing for Joe Paterno. Legendary coach. I'm talking about from many a player, generations of players. What was it like playing for a guy like Joe Pa? It was cool, man, but uh yeah, it was it was different. Like, you know, in the way when you go to the weight room, like I couldn't you couldn't have this shit. You had to be fresh shaved Damn. into the weight room. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, don't see that. We ain't really call it Penn State too much. We call it State Penn. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, man. It, it was different, man. But, oh. uh, I mean, it contributed to the winning mentality, though. You know what I mean? They How they ran things, it was different. But uh, we had some dogs out there. But, yeah, you know, shit happened. Yeah. You know, I had to move on. <laughs> you had a little situation, you know what I'm saying? Got a little brawl at the hub. And you had a little pool party fight with your boys, you know. What, what, what was happening with that situation that, ultimately had you leave Penn State? The hub shit was just, uh, you know, when you at a party and the the, the frack, they get to doing that little strut ah, and shit. shit, yeah. They, we, they, 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 they just expect you to move out the way Man, type I'm shit. I'm standing solid right here. Wish yeah, you good. Yeah, yeah. Come you on. Know, one thing led to another, but uh, yeah, the pool party shit, was, it was just, I was just there with my dogs and shit, and uh, yeah, I mean, we, yeah, like you know, said we throwing, we was, you know, yeah, yeah, we yeah. throwing people in the pool, and and we already <laughs> said if you ain't trying to get wet, don't be don't. by the pool. <laughs> so yeah, you know, people got mad or whatever, but uh, yeah, we got in trouble for that shit. It wasn't that bad, but I ain't want to be in Joe Pa's doghouse because when you in Joe Pa's doghouse, you might as well say your career over. Damn. Cause he ain't finna play you. you yeah, that sucks, bro. I don't like that shit. Yeah, like you. Cause uh, you, we all we were teenagers at that yeah. time, and and you you all make mistakes anyway. You know, I had a coach that did the same shit, but to take a player a whole shit away just because he made a mistake, yeah, we were fucking around. Like, yeah. come on, yeah. Joe Pa's doghouse was a motherfucker. I done seen motherfuckers go on that shit freshman year, and motherfuckers ain't getting out at all. You know what I mean? <sighs> so it's like. You know what I'm saying? Then at the same time, my, uh, the safeties coach we had at Penn State, Brian Norwood, uh, he took the defensive coordinator job at Baylor. Mm. So I just went down there with him, started fresh, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Wiped the slate clean. Now, before we get you into Baylor, your f- true freshman year at Penn State, you had to sit out? I played after, like, the fifth or sixth game. Okay, so... so I played my freshman and sophomore year at Penn State. So, uh... Did y'all have, like, you know, our freshmen or anybody that didn't play, you know, you had to to work out before. Yeah. Did y'all shit, like, serious? Like, it one of them, they come in the locker room looking like they died, like. I ain't do it too much because I was one of them border guys. Mm-hmm. Like, I would suit up but not play. Mm-hmm. So it was like when they going to burn the red shirt type shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it was like I was always, you know what I'm saying, Friday night, I was still at the team hotel type shit. You okay, know yeah, I mean? yeah, so, yeah. So you didn't have to do that shit. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I used to see them boys be coming in that locker room. Oh, yeah. Dead. They'd be like, God damn, I'm yeah. glad. I, I had to deal with that shit when I got down to Baylor, though, because I had to really sit out of here. Now, before you got all your shit in the car, before you had to work at the car wash, what was the conversation like with Joe Paterno with, right before you walked out that building? I ain't even talked to Joe. That's one of them shits. I ain't even talked to Joe. I talked to a couple of the coaches, and uh, and they 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 knew what it was. They was like, it may, might be in your best interest to start looking for another school. You know, what oh, I'm so saying? you didn't even get no. They knew what was no up. They, they knew how Joe was. They that ain't want me to leave, but at the spot. same time, they was like, we know your potential, and we don't want it to go to waste if you're going to. If you just in. sit here, yeah. So, and at the time, Coach Norwood, he was going down to. Uh, the Baylor to be the defensive coordinator. So, boom, it was just like that. And then the graduate assistant at Penn State at the time, Chris Acuff, he was going to be the D-line coach. Okay. So, it was like, I'm fitting You had in. your connections. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I knew the defense. They was going to be running and shit like that. 